Yo, what is up guys? Welcome back for another live in the OU tier. I gotta be kind of quiet because people are asleep right now. Uh, and some people are walking around the house. Don't want to give away too much <laughs> that I'm awake. But anyway, we got this uh, God Squad that we call here. Uh, Sox God Squad. Uh, big shout outs to Socrates. He's in the uh, the GOT with us. It's going to be the first time we get to, uh, to be in the same league together. Uh, also, Dom passed me this team technically on, on Sox, Pacepin. But anyway, uh, we got Talonflame, Starmie. Uh, Lando T, Scizor, Superior, and Titar is a pretty standard team, but uh, we'll just get some games. It's gonna be a more chill, laid-back live. Just uh, haven't done one of these in a while, so... Ooh, interesting team right off the bat. Look at that, we got a Darmanitan. Don't see that much in OU. Alright, so... It's actually gonna be a little bit of an, of an issue to deal with. I'm assuming he's gonna lead off with Keldeo because it matches up against my team pretty well. So I'm actually just gonna lead off with Serp, uh, as he does lead with Hippo, so that's pretty good for us. Uh, what I can do is go straight for the Leaf Storm, and uh, we'll capitalize on the Amoongus by going for a, uh, a substitute on it or, or something of the sort. He might just go straight for the Sludge Bomb though, so we'll see. We'll see what happens. But uh, I'm assuming the Amoongus is coming in here. It's uh, his best switch into this. Yep, there it is. And we get the Leaf Storm off, not too bad. Some decent damage. Gonna take uh, Sand and some Leftovers, get that back. He is Black Sludge revealed, awesome. We'll go for a sub here, just to see what he wants to do. Uh, if he predicts me to switch out, he's going to go for Clear Smog. That's going to be enough to knock out the sub, but I think it's just barely enough. So what I'm actually going to do is just go for an HP Fire on this guy. And uh, that way, he, if he predicts and goes for Spore, he's going to be knocked out on the following turn, which he does. Awesome. Okay. And we are going to go for... Do I go for another Leaf Storm here? I could, uh, in all reality. Because he's only switching his Darmanitan, and it's not going to appreciate taking a, taking a Leaf Storm. Yeah, I'm going to go for it right here. He's probably going to switch out to keep this thing to switch back into my superior later. In comes Skarmory. going to take a decent amount from this Leaf Storm. And it is in range of plus four Hidden Power Fire. At least it should be, because that was a resisted hit just now. Uh, it was actually quad resisted, I believe. Yeah, so he's full uh, full Fizz Duff. We'll go for the uh, for the HP Fire right here and knock out his Skarmory. And that's a big nuisance gone, actually. That was one of the checks to, to Scizor. The other thing is uh, probably Heracross, I would say. Can take hits pretty well. But, uh, and Keldeo, definitely, definitely Keldeo. In comes Amoongus. Now, he can go for a Clear Smog if he wants, but Hidden Power Fire is always my plan. <laughs> actually knocks him out this time with that increase. Uh, and my opponent's just going to straight up forfeit, so we'll get another one real quick. That was a pretty solid game, just uh, Mono super Superior. I guess I know what's getting the thumbnail. <laughs> I, didn't, I don't think we switched out once. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty sick. All right, uh, where are we on the OU ladder, actually? I think I'm in the 1700s, I'm pretty sure. Let's check that out, and OU 1741, not too bad, uh, my win loss record, don't look at that, there we go, <laughs> let's get rid of that, where is that on the ladder, OU 1741, is that top 500, I think it is, yeah we're right here, we're, we're right at, uh, we're, we're about where we usually are honestly, uh, in the 300s, so not too bad, not too great, but not too bad. Got a little bit more of a serious team this time around. He's got a lot of checks to Superior, so I don't think he'll be putting in as much work this game. He's got a, he's got a Weavile, he's got a Torn T. So I'm probably just going to lead off with uh, Titar here. Titar looks like my most solid lead. Oh well, Weavile can have low kick. Stuff like that. I don't like this team. It's strong. <laughs> it's very strong. Um, yeah, you know what? Let's just lead off with Lando. Uh, it leads off well against the uh, the Torn and his own Lando, unless he's HP Ice. But uh, we'll go for Stealth Rocks right here. It's gonna go for Knockoff, get rid of our uh, Rocky Helmet, and by the damage, I think he's. I don't think he's defensive. I think he's scarfed. We'll go for a U-turn right here on his Keldeo. That's pretty nice, as we are able to get in our Superior for basically free. And what I can do is I can actually set up a sub on this. Uh, and then go for Leech Seed on the following turn on whatever comes in. And if he wants to go into Tornadus, then he's going to be taking... Uh, I'm going to probably go for Leaf Storm on the Torn. Because uh, he's more than likely going to U-turn out. And then we'll get a Leaf Storm off on something. So, does go into Torn. There we go. I don't expect him to Hurricane. It's not a good play. U-turn is his best play. So, I'm just going to Leaf Storm here. There is the U-turn. He takes 10%, revealing that he is Life Orb. That's a good thing to keep in mind. Goes into Lando, as we are going to fire off a Leaf Storm right here. This is going to be easily 2 hit KO'd. However, he is Scarfed, and I do not want to take the U-turn right now. He dies to Rocks, and he his only hazard removal is Scizor, which I'm assuming it actually is. 
uh, defog because his team is very stealth rocks weak. Break Sash on Breloom if that's what it is. His Weavile and his Torn take 25% each. So, um, I don't want to give uh, go into something that gives his Keldeo a free attack. So I'm going to go into Talonflame. If he Stone Edges, he Stone Edges. It's fine. He's going to go for Knock Off though. That's going to get rid of our Leftovers. And uh, what we'll do here is we'll actually just throw off a Roost on his switch into Keldeo. And now I get to Brave Bird for free. So that's pretty fun. Uh, he got rid of... What item were we leftovers? <laughs> I don't even know the team too well, to be perfectly honest with you. I know this is Spadef Talonflame, but he's gonna go into Weavile on my Brave Bird. This thing is gonna get annihilated. <laughs> yep. <laughs> that's a lot of damage. And uh, I don't really want to stay in on an Icicle Crash. Scizor is always a safe switch to this. I'm glad he didn't Pursuit there. Goes to the knockoff, does a little bit of damage. He's gonna take a Life Orb hit, and we're gonna go straight for the Roost. Uh, because he can no longer uh, switch back in. He's going to get a crit Icicle Crash. Hopefully he doesn't flinch, as he does not, and our Scizor is healthy. Beautiful. His own Scizor is going to come in, and uh, I'm just going to go for a U-turn on this, because I'm assuming it's uh, Speedy Scizor. Yep, there it is. And uh, we're going to go straight into Talon, which does not die to a plus two Bullet Punch, and we'll go for a Will-O-Wisp right here. As he goes for another Swords Dance, which is absolutely fine, we're going to go for a... Uh, Sword Dance of our own, actually, and he's gonna go for a Roost, which is fine, and we're gonna go for another Sword Dance, as he goes for a Sword Dance of his own again, and I think plus four Brave Bird should be able to knock him out if he's offensive, let's just check that out. Um, from a Spadef Talon. Spadef Talon with Brave Bird is interesting. Uh, Talon Flame, especially defensive, because usually it's Acro, so let's just put Brave Bird on there. At plus four to a Mega Scizor offensive Swords and set. I know he's offensive because he outsped my Scizor even before Mega Evolution. So, um, Brave Bird 85 to 101. That should be more than enough. We'll go for it right here. And no, actually, he lives. Wow. Uh, he's going to go for a Roost. Bad play on my opponent's part because we're just going to get to Brave Bird right here and knock out his Scizor. Beautiful. We're sitting at 48%, we should be able to take the recoil from every single Pokemon right here. We'll go for Brave Bird now, knock out this Torn, does 20% to us. Uh, Breloom should not be able to... Okay, he's going to go into Lando, sack it. Uh, in comes Keldeo. Once again, this should not kill us to recoil, as it does not. It leaves us at 6%, and unless he's Scarf Breloom, this game is over. GG, man. And there we go. He said, <laughs> loved all the nonsensical play. Yeah, definitely, we made some pretty bad plays there. Uh... <laughs> Going for Leaf Storm on a Torn, yeah, for sure. When I was behind a sub, mind you. Um, switching into Talon on the knockoff wasn't the smartest play, but I mean, it got us in for free. Uh, gave us the uh, the free Roost on his next uh, on his switch out into Keldeo. I don't, I didn't understand the switch out into Keldeo. Really didn't make much sense because why am I going to switch out my Talon Flame when I know you're locked into knockoff, you know? But anyway, we'll get another game, and uh, team's doing pretty well. I like it. Where are we now? I didn't even see how much we gained from that because I was so busy looking at his comment. Really gotta start ignoring players and, and spectators. 1758, so we didn't go up that much, about 17 points. That's not bad though. That's not bad at this state. Uh, ladder, we're just gonna check that real quick. Where that is, 17, what did we say? Like 50 something? 58, 17, 58. Uh, there I am, 263, not bad. Try to get up to the top 10 soon. <laughs> it's never gonna happen. We all know that. All right, so against this guy, um, his hazard removal is, st excuse me, Starmie, which gets trapped by Titar. So then I get up rocks after and his Talon Flame and his uh, Shedinja essentially die. Um, that is a Mega Metagross, and I'm kind of worried about leading off with Lando, because I don't get the Intimidate off, and he is faster than me and gets the Ice Punch. But I think that's my play anyway. Uh, as he's going to lead with his own land though. Okay, so that ends up working out for us not too bad. Go for Stealth Rocks. He is faster than us, it seems. Uh, we will go for a Stone Edge here just in case, uh, as he goes for a Stone Edge of his own. Ours is going to do a lot more, which indicates to me that he's probably offensive. I'm going to go for a U-turn right here, as he switches out into Starmie, which is absolutely perfect, as now we are able to bring in our T-Tar, essentially just trap this, go for a Pursuit, and uh, on the turn that he doesn't click uh, recover, he's dead. He goes for rapid spin, that is a dead Starmie. 
goodbye, and now the next time we get up rocks, we are good to go. I'm actually gonna go for another pursuit as he switches back out, beautiful. And we're able to get off a lot of damage on that Lando. I figured he'd do that because my own Lando was a safe switch in. Uh, and I'm gonna go for another pursuit right here. Uh, as he goes for Dark Pulse, we're able to take that pretty well. And now I see what move he went for. I can't really switch out on his Dark Pulse, realistically, because nothing on my team can take it while rocks are up, because Talonflame would definitely be able to take it, but I'm going to allow him to knock out my T-Tar here. It doesn't serve any other purpose this game, except maybe trapping the Sheninja, but what I really want to do is uh, get up my rocks again, so... He hasn't flinched us yet, which is nice. We're able to uh, get off a lot of damage on this High Dragon and then uh, go for another Pursuit right here. He doesn't show to be Life Orb, I'm assuming he's choiced in some way. So what we'll do... The problem is his Shedinja, because it doesn't die <laughs> to anything that Scizor can throw out. So what I have to do is basically... Also, his Shedinja is a ghost, which, which means it spin blocks my Starmie, which is kind of annoying, but I can always Toxic it. That's not too bad. All right, so um, yeah, we'll go into Superior here because it's pretty bulky on the special side. It can definitely take an attack, and we'll go for a we'll go for a Leech Seed, honestly, as he does seem to be choice as he goes for a Dark Pulse. That is definitely Specs damage, as it gets us right above twenty five percent. I believe no, we're just below it. Okay. All right, so what we'll do is uh, we'll go for a Leaf Storm here and bring him down to 8%. He will go for another Dark Pulse, and I'm in a little bit of a bad situation because I can't just bring in Starmie. Well, I can actually, yeah. I can bring in Starmie because I'm faster. And Scald knocks him out. So I could just go for that. I can also just go for a Toxic right here. Um... He could be predicting the Rapid Spin so that I can bring in Talonflame and just sweep him. That could be the thought process. So he might go straight into Shedinja. I think I'm just going to play it safe and fire off a Scald. Yeah, and knock out this High Dragon. Okay, cool. Uh, Scarfed uh, Lando might come in here. Uh, Metagross actually comes in. Okay, this is fine. Because I can just spin... Uh... Yeah, Rapid Spin is fine. As... He is going to do what? Go for a Thunder Punch and knock us out. That is fine. We will go into Landorus, and I do not want to take an Ice Punch, so what I'm actually going to do is double out into Scizor here. As, uh, actually, I can take a uh, minus one Ice Punch, right? With Lando? Landorus defensive? Definitely. I'm, I'm pretty damn sure. Metagross, Ice Punch. Yeah, minus one does 75 max. I think I want to prioritize rocks because his Lando is so low, and that Shedinja is an issue uh, for Scizor, which sets up and wins now, um, except against Talon, but yeah, I'm definitely going for rocks, as he actually chooses to switch out directly into his Shedinja, which is fine because I can go for a Stone Edge right here, knock it down to its Sash, or rather leave it at the amount of health that it's at. Uh, I can no longer switch in, so I will just go for a... Honestly, I'm going to swap into Talon Flame because Shedinja can't really do anything to Talon anyway. And if he goes into his Lando, then it dies to a Brave Bird. If he goes into his Metagross, he risks me uh, Will O Wisping him. I do have a lot of HP. I'm not sure I can take a Thunder Punch, though. I'm pretty sure I can't. From Talon, or on Talon Flame, rather, especially defensive. Uh, if Ice Punch does that much, I think Thunder Punch is straight knocking me out. Thunder Punch. Uh, 85 to 100. So, we can take it. The thing is, he has his own Talon. I think my play is Lando here. Lando lowers attack on the Thunder Punch and switch out into Scizor on the Ice Punch. He actually doesn't have it. He doesn't have, um... Uh, Ice Punch. It doesn't seem that way anyway because he keeps switching out on my Landorus. So I'm assuming that's the case. Uh, just gonna go into Lando here on this Talon Flame. If he wants to set up, that's uh, mm, mm, mm. hold on. Maybe just U-turning is the better play because if he Flare Blitzes here, he puts himself in range of. No, Lando's the better play because Mega Metagross is too much of a threat for sure. Uh, as he's gonna go for Roost, which is fine because he stays uh, as a Flying type. 
Um, he can't roost anymore. So I'm actually just going to go for a U-turn on the Metagross or the Lando. And we do catch that. That's beautiful. And now what we'll do is we'll go into Talonflame. Uh, we'll predict the Stone Edge. And we'll go out into Scizor on it. And I'm not sure that a plus... Okay, he goes for Explosion instead. Okay, that's kind of worrisome. Uh, I did not expect an Explosion. He's going to go into Talon here. Uh, I'm going to go for the U-turn. Expecting another Roost right here as he goes for a brave bird actually does not knock us out which is great uh, and from the looks of it he seems to be a little more defensive so I'm just gonna bring in my own talent here and what we'll do is we'll go for uh, actually there's no way he clicks roost right because I can swords dance and he doesn't know what set I am so I'm actually just gonna go into Lando expecting him to brave bird as that is exactly what he does. Beautiful. And we will live burn. He dies to the combination of recoil plus rocky helmet. And now what we can do is we can sack off Scizor here. As he goes for the Zen headbutt. We'll go into Lando to lower his attack. He's forced to attack us here to knock us out. We'll go for the... Uh, he has Zen headbutt, right? Okay. We'll go for the earthquake. As he misses mash, which is very unfortunate. But either way, he would have taken damage. And now we get to go out into Talonflame, uh, Will-O-Wisp him, hopefully we connect, uh, as he gets a crit on Thunder Punch, okay. So that's kind of what I was playing with when I let my Scizor get weakened, I wasn't expecting Explosion to be perfectly honest with you, but uh, that's what happens sometimes, it's unavo unavoidable, I'm not going to complain about the Thunder Punch crit, I knew that could happen, that was like the only way, that or a miss on Will-O-Wisp were the only ways he could knock me out, so. It happens, what do you want? Um, I could have also roosted after his Thunder Punch, which would have made it um, not not very effective, but uh, neutral to Talonflame, uh, Talonflame. So I would have been able to constantly roost stall him until Burn just eventually knocked him out. So there's, uh, there's that, but crits happen. Nothing you can do about it. Learn that week 10 of the GPC. Ethan, if you're watching, I'm sorry, man, again. <laughs> but yeah, uh, let's get one more, I think, and then we'll, uh, we'll call it a night. Uh, epics. Your team is very scary, my friend. Um, Talonflame is checked by the Thunderous, uh, as well as potential Unaware Clef and Mega Metagross. Mega Metagross is just annoying to deal with. Because, um, like, every time you have to pivot into Lando, you have to predict what it's going for. It's, it's a very hard one to switch into. We'll lead off here with, I think... Uh, Cheatsar is our best lead. Because the Lottie and the uh, Kieran Black, and as well as this, like Thunderous in general. Uh, Banded, 354, 366. I think you take this, right? Thunderous versus Tyranitar. Regular Tyranitar, Choice Banded. In Sand, Focus Blast. No, it still knocks me out. Wow. Okay. All right, and that's with 100 HP. I don't even know if that's what we are. 366. What does that put us at? Yeah, that's correct. Okay, it is correct. All right. Um, I don't have a switch into this, honestly. <laughs> like, I really don't. Uh, I'm going to go into Scizor because it takes it the best. As he goes for Superpower. Okay, so that one ends up working out for us because we would have definitely not lived that. Um, he's Life Orb. I'm assuming the electric move is coming here. Uh... Yeah, this thing is really tough to switch into. I think I actually just have to go for the U-turn here. <laughs> Goes on on Orlando, so not too bad. We're able to U-turn uh, out on that. Is he Rocky Helmet? Let's see. He is indeed. And now what we can do is go into our own Lando, because rocks are actually crucial this game for the Kyurem and the Thunderous, now that I know that it's Life Orb. Let's go for rocks. He might go for rocks of his own. He doesn't have a spin blocker though, so Starmie pretty much spins on everything except for a Scarfmon. And uh, it's looking okay. We should be uh, we should be okay. Uh, we know he's rocking helmet as well. Kiram comes in. I do not have a switch in per se to this, uh, but what I can do is go into Titar on its initial attack, which should be an ice beam. Actually, uh, he actually goes for Earth Power and gets a crit. Okay, and a spit F drop. All right. Is he Life Orb as well? Yeah, he is. All right. Um, he's not gonna ice beam. I don't think here. Well, he could because he got the spit F drop. That's a little bit annoying. I wanted to keep this to Pursuit Trap as Lottie, but that doesn't seem like it's going to happen. I'm just going to crunch here. He's going to go for the Ice Beam. He's going to knock us out. That was a risk, uh, a riskless play for him. Um, 
as what we can do now is go into scissor pressure him out with the bullet punch and I'm assuming what's gonna happen is he's gonna go out into uh, tor uh, into Lando uh, doesn't this just win like for real doesn't this just win I'm looking at the matchup now yeah the scissor just wins uh, except if he has HP fire okay <laughs> so that just happened um, HP fire earth power hidden power ice I doubt he's fusion bolt I can probably go out into Starmie and Toxic something. Um, yeah. We're gonna win with uh, Talonflame, I've decided, because his uh, Thunderous is pretty weak now. Let's go for Toxic. He probably can't touch us, I'm assuming. Uh, and I'm, I'm expecting a switch out into Lottie. Nope, he stays in. And he does have Fusion Bolt, it's his only physical attack, okay. All right, so what we have to do is um, go into Serp. And sub up a few times. This is a crazy Kyrim set. Uh, I'm gonna sub up twice, and then I'm gonna go for the Leaf Storm. You might be expecting it like a Dragon Pulse here. Maybe think we're Specs. Go for a sub. Uh, he's gonna Ice Beam. He's gonna take Life Orb plus Poison right here. Now the problem is I can't Leaf Storm because one, it won't knock him out, and. He's gonna die to the next life orb plus poison. So we gotta go for another sub here, unfortunately. As he is gonna ice beam again. Yep. Absolutely fine. Uh, if Thunderous comes out, there's nothing I can really do. Metagross is gonna be his play of choice. We will leech seed this. As we do get it off, he goes for the Meteor Mash straight away. Does he get the attack boost? He does, which means now we have to go into Lando. Uh, we do not live an ice punch. So I actually have to pivot into Talonflame first to take the Ice Punch, get some Leech Seed, and then switch back out into Landorus if I want to win this game. It's really annoying uh, that he had the HP Fire. I guess I should have Bullet Punched there. It's, uh, okay. I think he just left. <laughs> Hold on. Let's pull some uh, some trickery here. Mod join on. Thank you. Let's see how long he takes to get back and if he knows how. He's back. All right. Cool. Um, 40 seconds left. He actually decides to switch out into his own Landorus here. We know it's Rocky Helmet, so we're faster. Um, I think regardless, I have to Wisp this. Like, let me just see something. Landorus, Therian, OU Defensive. Uh, versus Talonflame, Spadef, oops, oh, one, come on, stop slipping, there we go, Stone Edge normally does that much, uh, if he's burned it's like having minus two attack, so it does 86, yeah we'll go for the burn, hopefully he misses, that would be cool, he's gonna go for U-turn, okay perfect, that's fine, uh, he's more than likely gonna go out into Thunderous, there it is, and T-Bolt will kill us, I'm, I believe, right? Thunderous Therian? Uh, not Therian. Thunderous Eye. Thunderbolt does annihilate us. But what I can do is I can go into, into Lando. Uh, on his... Uh, he is Defiant, of course. He's gonna go for Thunderbolt. I'm expecting an HP Ice here. So what I'm actually gonna do is uh, double out into Talonflame here. Uh, on his HP Ice. If he goes for knockoff, then good play, but uh, he just goes for HP Ice, that's perfect. What that means is that I can roost up right here. I can either do that or double back into Lando if I'm expecting the knockoff. Uh, that way he'll take Rocky Helmet plus, 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 plus. Um, he's triple Life Orb, if the Lottie is Life Orb, which I'm expecting it to be. I don't think his Metagross has Thunder Punch. Um, how do I, how much do I do to him? Not with Acro, with Brave Bird. Brave Bird does 24 to 28, so if he takes Rocky Helmet plus Life Orb, he will die. So, we'll go into Lando on the knockoff. We don't have a choice. He's gonna get plus two, um, and he's just gonna go for T-Bolt, okay? Interesting. Is he gonna go for HP Ice here? Let's go for Stone Edge. Because he should know that Lando can't win this game. So he might predict here. 
and just go for a, uh... He might just go for another Thunderbolt. I'm trying to catch that, basically. That's my play. He might think that I'm trying to get him in range of... Um, of Brave Bird by continuously switching out like this. So he might just go for the knockoff. Because he's a plus two attack, like it's pretty much a risk-free play. He knows he outspeeds me, he always gets rid of my item, so he doesn't have to deal with Rocky Helmet. But this is my only way to win. His Lando is burned. Goes for superpower, perfect. Awesome. So we're able to knock this thing out with uh, Stone Edge right here. And it's going to be hard. It's going to be tough to win. Uh, I can tell you that right now. Uh, but if Lottie comes in and Draco's me, then we can definitely win. Because then I can set up a sub. Uh, not a sub, a Swords Dance with Talonflame. And potentially win this game. We'll see though. It really depends. It depends on a lot of things. It depends on his Metagross's coverage. Uh, it depends on if uh, Clef is T-Wave or not. If he brings out Clef now, I think I'm going to EQ and then switch into Talonflame. Not sure yet, though. I'd love to keep this in case his Clef is uh, T-Wave. But I don't think I'm going to be able to do that. What's good is that now that his Lando is burned, I can potentially set up a Swords Dance on it with Talonflame. Because he doesn't knock me out with Stone Edge. It is a higher critical hit ra ratio move, but it is also 80% accurate. This is a longer game than any of the others. Wow. This is what I get for getting four games. But, uh, yeah. So we might we might still be able to win this. We'll see. He goes in a Lottie. That's good. We'll go for a U-turn here. Because if he does Draco and knock us out, then we're fine. Uh, he goes for Psy Shock, which is good because he's going to... Uh, he doesn't take the Life Orb hit. Okay. So he's not Life Orb. Interesting. Um, we'll just go for Brave Bird here. Because this thing is pretty low, so that's good. And essentially, if I can get off the Intimidate on Mega Metagross, uh, like I'm going to take Rocky Helmet here, which is fine. But if I can get off the Intimidate on Mega Metagross, I should be good to go. Because I think he's forced to Stone Edge here in case I Swords Dance, right? So I think I go for the Roost the first time around. Because I'm at 75 and nobody should predict Roost, technically. That way he goes for Stone Edge and he only does 25% to us. Because it's only two times effective and not quad effective. He might also just double out here. Which wouldn't be a terrible play, like into, into Clefable because I'm at minus one. And then come back in and get off another Intimidate. That could be it. We'll see. Because uh, he's not in a winning... Like, he, he is in a winning position, but he hasn't won yet. He goes for U-Turn, which is going to allow me to be at full health, which is very nice. He goes into his Clefable, which is definitely a T-Wave set, um, I'm assuming. I can't really switch out on it, though. That's the thing. I can't. I can't afford it. So we'll go for Swords Dance. We'll start setting up. He's not unaware. We know that much. Uh, I think he's T-Bolt, by the way he's playing it. Uh, yeah, he's probably T-Bolt. How much does plus one... Uh, Brave Bird due to Clefable, probably nothing. Clefable, how much do you take? 43 to 51, wow, okay, that's not bad at all. Uh, which means that plus three, wow. Okay. Okay, what I'm gonna wanna do here, because Clefable, while it is strong, uh, if it's not a Life Orb variant, if it's leftovers, with Thunderbolt at plus one, I don't think it can knock me out. Uh, Thunderbolt at plus one. No, it does 47 to 55. So unless he's 252 Life Orb, uh, even that he can't knock me out. Well, after the recoil he can. Let's go for Brave Bird. Let's see how much it does. It does 42. Okay, so he's more defensive. Good. Goes for Moonblast. That's not going to do anything to us. Uh, we're gonna go for another Swords Dance here. Maybe he's just giving me, a, like, a false sense of security. Um, hmm. He could have it. He definitely could. Well, with a Thunderous, I don't think he would. He's gonna go out into Metagross. Um, now, again, I don't think this thing is Thunder Punch. So, what's the most it can do to me? Mega Metagross, Zen Headbutt. Um, cannot knock me out, it doesn't seem. So I can burn this. Yeah, let's go for the burn. Okay, he is T-Punch. 
Should have scouted. Should have scouted for that. Probably should have, uh, yeah. All right, I'm gonna go for Stone Edge here because I feel like he doesn't have Ice Punch. Um, he does have Meteor Mash, there we go. I expected him to switch though, uh, in all honesty. But anyway, that's gonna be a loss uh, because I didn't scout for the Thunder Punch. I definitely should have. Uh, and after one Intimidate, he would have been uh, in range. Um, like after one Intimidate, he wouldn't have been able to take me out with T-Punch and I would have been able to roost on him constantly. And all of his moves are resisted except for a potential Zen Headbutt, but I don't think he had it. Anyway, that's gonna be uh, two wins, two losses, unfortunately. We drop a lot from that, wow. Like, uh, you guys can't see that, but seven, we lost 25 points from that game. That's insane. All right, I'm gonna have to get those back. But this is where I'm gonna leave you guys off. Thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy, make sure to leave that like down below. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I will catch you guys later. Ciao.